Bienvenidos, everybody. This is Andres Salazar. This is the Art of Comics. I've got my artist hat on today. <laughs> so we know we're going to talk about some art. Um, so I get this question a lot. I think about this question a lot. When you're working in abstract art, when do you know that it's ready? When do you know that it's ready? How do you know it's finished? How do you know a painting is finished? Well, there's the quote... You know, no painting is finished, they're just abandoned, right? And that's fine, and that's cute and clever, but um, we need to know, we all have to have some sort of agreement as to when the painting is finished so that you can move on with your life and do something else, maybe even sell it. So yes, cute thought, a painting's never finished, you just abandoned. Well, there's also an element of, I gotta know when I'm calling it quits. So we're gonna go through some paintings. Actually, these are, these this is stuff I'm doing this week. I'll show you things that I think are finished, things that I think are not finished, and you be the judge, or you don't even be the judge. You just like listen, okay? So, but one of the questions is, when is a painting finished? This. So let's just start. Let me go grab some paintings, and we'll just like talk about this right now. So now, besides the obvious stuff, right, where there's a big space that you're gonna paint over there's there's elements that you want to add when it's big obvious you're not finished putting the base of course but here's a painting here's two paintings i did last night this painting abstract painting is not finished uh and let me tell you why how do i know that well a lot of it is kind of this intrinsic intuitive element to art right where because it's abstract because you're not representing anything that's uh in the real world that's representational of something you know that then it's just your instinct as to what is finished right so a lot of it is the gut we'll say but we can use also principles of design the elements of art to help us with that and that's really what i'm doing when i'm looking at this piece I'm thinking about things I like, and there's things I don't like. And I'm thinking about what elements I think are really cool and what's just not quite solidified yet, right? I like these lines coming down here. I actually like this here. I like the way this is blended. I use a palette knife a little bit. And I added some of these like dark Prussian you know, uh, blue lines. I kind of like some of this, but I want to add something here. I want to fill this in a bit. I like some of this, but the bottom is not quite finished. I want to add some color there. I like some of this, but I'm not married to this yet. So I like, a, I like this little section, but then I don't really care for this. So there's little parts that I do like, parts that I don't like. So that's, that's one element. It's like, what do you, what things do you like? And then as a whole, what do you like, right? So you're looking at the micro, then you look at the macro. Well, one of the challenges of this painting is I wanted to keep it to three colors. So I wanted to like put a little constraint in my painting. And I thought, okay, I wanna just put this into three colors and this is how, what we're gonna do. But it's, it's just not quite there yet. There is some shapes I like, but there's not enough harmony. There's not enough contrast and pull from these things. I do like these, but it's not quite developed yet, right? It just feels like it's outlines and it needs a little bit more meat to it. So again, I hope, I, hope I'm communicating well. I'm using the principles or the elements of art, line, form, color, shape, texture, those kind of things to help evaluate, you know, do, does this piece have those elements? And then is there just like a sense of like, okay, do I feel finished, right? This piece here, let's go to this one. I did this one last night too. This one's actually closer to being done. This one's actually getting there. Even though this one looks maybe a little bit simpler, there's bigger swatches of colors. I actually really do like the way that looks. And I really like this. I like the way I blended this. I use my, just my fingers. I like this here. 
I'm not super married to this, but I kind of like it. It actually kind of looks like a surfer or some kind of like, you know, he's on a wave and this is like a sail or something. But I, I kind of like it. This is close. I actually think this could be like just about done, to be honest. I probably will do something around the edges. I'm not married to that. I'm not quite in love with this yet, but I do like this a lot. And I do like these big, these big shapes. So this one I feel is closer to being done. Now, how do I make it done? Well, that's another, that's another question, it's another video. But basically I have to think about what are those things that are missing? You know, I might want some darkness, I might want some light. So I think about value, right? We've got nice dark values here. There's some good light values next to it. Do we need some of that over here? This is pretty dark, but maybe we put some more light things. So, you know, kind of balancing that. I do like these little elements of the paint kind of mixing. Do we need some of that over here? This just feels a little kind of dry brush. It needs a little bit more like, again, I say meat, more paint on that spot, okay? So you're kind of, and again, you're kind of just, not guessing, but you just wait until you feel like it's ready. Here's the third in that this is a little series. Again, same palette, same question. This one is a little more up in the air. This one is not ready. This one is probably in the middle, actually. It's better, it's closer than this one. I think, but not as close as the last one we showed. Um, again, I like these little marks and I like this shape. I like, I like this section. I'm not in love with this. I actually kind of like these shapes. I'm just not in love yet with this. This is like, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. And I, I do kind of like the way those are coming out. But, and we're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. But it's, it's, and this is like still kind of muddy and not quite right. So I got to work this out here. So there's still like this middle section, but I do kind of like the edges of what this is happening. So it's just looking at, for me, you know, my paintings have been a lot about shape. And so I'm looking at shapes. These are, these are all wet. So I got like oil paint on my hands now. Um, so I'm looking at shapes and like what shapes do I like and how they kind of like work against each other. Um, there's another way to figure out if your painting is ready. And this is controversial. You can talk to people, share the art with people. Now, some artists might never do that and think that's like blasphemous. I think it's always a good idea to talk to people. Now, my wife will know that I will actually rarely <laughs> do her advice. I rarely take her advice but I always listen to it because I do want to hear it. I do talk to other artists, other people who know art and people who don't know art to kind of get a sense of what do they think. Now, a lot of times in abstract art, they'll say, oh, I see this, or that's a face, or that's a donkey, or whatever. That's fine. Subconsciously, we start putting, we start assigning shapes things. I get that, that's fine. And they can do that all day long, it doesn't matter to me. But I kind of want to get a sense sometimes. Okay, what do you think? Is this one kind of close to finishing? Let me show you two more paintings that I think are finished. Okay, this painting here, this is three by three, so it's bigger, it's a bigger painting. Uh, but this, I finished this one last night as well. I worked on some paintings last night. And I think this one is finished. Now, it took me a while to figure it out, but I was really happy with some of these things here. I like this, you know, I, I really like the way these white lines kind of came across. And then I did this and I started using this and I like some of the, I was going to put something here. I was like, oh, what am I going to put there? Because that was kind of a placeholder. I was going to put a color there. And then I've decided, to, you know, I'm not, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I think it works fine that way. I actually like this. This one might be one of my favorite ones. I, I'm i having good luck in that I'm feeling better and better about the most recent stuff. So that's a good, that's a good sign. If I just liked my old stuff and didn't like my new stuff, that'd be a problem. 
Um, you know, there are things I could go back and do. I could really clean these up. I can really work out some of these little moments, but I don't think I need to. I think there is a point where you do overwork it, and I think that I could wind up overworking this. There's also an element of losing the gestural quality of the painting, losing the energy of the strokes, the blending of the paint, if I keep working it. I have overworked paintings. It happens. It's, it's a common thing uh, to overwork them. And so you do have to kind of know like, okay, I'm gonna stop because yeah, I'm not in love with this. I really am not. But it could just be an issue if I like really start messing with it. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. In this case, it, I am abandoning it, right? Because I could go farther. But in this case, I am, I guess, abandoning it because I think that the return on investment you know, you you get that asymptote where, okay, the more time I put in, it's going to get a little bit better, but not much. So I've, once you get to that spot, just call it. Um, let's talk about, let's just go through the elements, right? It's got lines. There's some fun forms and shapes in here. There's smooth shapes. There's some hard shapes, right? And lines, color. We're using, of course, a lot of complementary color with the blues and the oranges, these warm colors, uh, highlighting this kind of more of a, a cool color painting. Um, so I'm really trying to like work on contrasts and moments, right? With complementary colors, look at the orange and green, purple and green, you know, these kind of complementary colors that are really bringing out light values, dark values. So I'm really trying to incorporate all those elements of design and art into the piece and that really like helps it right this is i think one of my most successful ones okay that's my thought let's go to the last one real quick okay here's the last one i this one again was when i finished up last night um it is different than the previous right it's different than the blue blue one uh it is shape based it is you know a lot of shapes a lot of colors this has got a little bit more warm colors more earthy stuff maybe even kind of a Southwest kind of flavor, which I've been kind of really enjoying playing with that. I'm using, of course, complementary colors again with the browns against the blues. Browns, of course, is, is really orange plus black. Uh, so we've got orange and blue, those kind of working together, right, in spots. Um, but I felt this was done. I really like the energy of this, the movement, contrasting that with these kind of hard lines and we have this repetition of theme this kind of like waterfall movement going there 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 against these like hard lines we have this movement here um i think this is successful we've got some line work here a little bit just to kind of suggest things but it's not crazy um it works i think it i think it works i think this is a successful painting um I don't know if I could rework. I could rework this a bit. There's some things here. Maybe I can like really define it more or just add another layer of color. But I don't know if it would make it better, honestly. I'm not super in love with this dark blue. Um, I might have made that more of a, a umber. I do like this a lot. I like these colors in there a lot. Um, but again, it's to the point where you just have to say, okay, I think this is good. Now, here's a caveat to all this. I know this is done today, and I am saying I am, it's, it's sellable. It's ready to be sold. But if I put this away in the closet for two months, six months, a year, and then I pull it back out, there is a chance that I will look at it and because of the time, because of maybe my maturity in art or my taste or style, I might think this is not done and I might go back to it. That's always an option and a possibility. But is it ready for the market? I say yes. It's ready for me to move on and not work on it anymore now. But 
No one says I can't go back to it, right? No one says I have to like put it away. I just finished a painting a couple months ago and I've just decided, you know what? I'm gonna go back to it because it's not quite right. My One of my favorite paintings I sold two months ago was a painting I did years ago. And I went back and I repainted it because it just, it always was bothering me. And I repainted it and it just totally took off. So sometimes there is something to say about giving it a break, letting it kind of mature or marinate or ferment and then going back to it after a while but um that's it so use the principles of design ask people use your gut abstract art is a lot of intuition and just intuitively knowing what you think works as far as harmony and contrast and those kind of things so there you go that's the video thanks for watching we'll do more we got comic books, a lot of comic book stuff. We'll do some more automatic drawing and things like that. But just wanted to share this with you. I thought this would be kind of fun. So thanks for watching. If you've got some videos, specific topics you want to talk to me about uh, or me look at your work, think about being a member. Because uh, if you have a membership to this little channel for $3, you then could get more access to me on a one-on-one. -on -one. There you go. Thanks. Bye.